Hello everyone and welcome back to another Doctor Who action figure review. In today's video I'm taking a look at something which is quite special which is this, the Big Chief Studios 4th Doctor Collector Edition 6th Scale figure. Now you might think that this is quite an old figure and you'd be right because this figure was originally released way back in 2013 but this is actually the brand new Zavi and Big Chief Studios exclusive release. This was part of a range revealed originally by Zavi almost two years ago now of a line of reissues of the original Doxa figures released by Big Chief. So that included the 4th Doctor, the 9th Doctor, the 10th Doctor, the 11th Doctor and the 12th Doctor. I have the originals of the rest of them figures so they weren't of interest to me but I never picked up the 4th Doctor. So when this figure went up for pre-order I leapt at the chance to pick one up finally. So that was way back in March 2020, but then a lot of big things happened in the world, least of all being a pandemic, which meant that these figures were delayed massively. I then believe there were some complications at the factories, which meant that these figures seemed to just disappear for a year and a half, almost two years now. And the interesting thing is they then reappeared on Zavi's website and Big Chief Studios website. So I then took, took the opportunity to reorder the figure as I canceled my order thinking that I was never gonna get the figure. I reordered one from Zavi and it's finally here today. So as ever, I'm gonna start off by moving the figure out of the way. Quite difficult because I've had to use quite a big, um, actually we'll just put the figure at the back. We'll put him at the back there. I've had to change where I record this review, mainly because the figure and the box are so big. So we'll bring in the box to take a look at first of all. So I'm really liking the design of packaging here. I was a bit uncertain of how Big Chief were gonna do the packaging as these were billed as being uh, more stripped back versions of the originals. So we knew that we weren't gonna get the same lavish packaging that we had on the original. But still, this is really nice. I was fully expecting just a plain white shipper box. So to be able to get this very nicely decorated box is really cool. So at the top, we've got Collector Edition 6th scale figure. We've got loads of Gallifrey text adorning the box. We've got an image of the Doxa and the Doxa Who logo, Big Chief Studios at the bottom. Now, the interesting thing is this image of the Doctor isn't actually printed onto the box itself. And there's a reason for that, which I'll get onto in a minute. On the side, we've got Doctor Who, and on the back, we have bios of the five re-released Doctors. Now, what's quite interesting is that, for the most part, these are straight-up re-releases. However, with the 11th Doctor, the images all show that the Series 6 head sculpt is the one that's used on the figure, as per the original release. But I've seen that a few people who've got them in hand, the figures have included the Series 7 head sculpt. Now, I believe that's because the original head has now been lost, so they had to use the Series 7 head or risk not releasing the figure at all. I am tempted to pick up an 11th Doctor figure to slightly kick bash to turn into a Stetson wearing green coat 11th Doctor. So if I pick up one of those, I'll be sure to review it and then you can compare the differences between the original release and the new one. On the other side, we have Doctor Who. Now, in a very different way to the other Big Chief figures, the box actually just opens like this. There's no magnetic front cover or anything like that. And then removing the plastic trays, I just move this out of the way, you can actually see that this is a separate piece and this is what houses the image of the Doctor. Now that's so that they can use the same main box on all five figures and then just change the insert with whichever doctor is the one that you've bought, uh, which is quite a nice and quite an ingenious way of doing it. So we've got, this is quite nice in itself. We've got the Doctor Who logo, Collector Edition 6th scale figure. We've got a sort of time vortex in the background. We've got an image of the doctor. And then we've got a sort of bio spec of everything that's included with the figure. There's nothing on the back of this. It's just a plain bit of card, but still very, very nice. Looking at the plastic bubble, there's not a lot to say. It's just a plastic bubble, which the figure and the accessories are housed in, but it's your standard thing from Big Chief in that 
the figure is very, very nicely protected. So fingers crossed there shouldn't be any damages or quality issues when you get the figures. So that's the box out of the way. Let's start off by taking a look at the figure. Starting off by taking a look at the head sculpt. The head actually comes with the two hair pieces which was included on the original. So first of all, we'll take a look at the hatted head. Now, one thing that I'll say right off the top of um, the review is that the hat does not stay on this hair piece. So I'm actually going to take it off before I do anything else, otherwise it will fall off and get damaged. This is very tedious trying to pry off the hair piece. There's the head without any of the hair pieces on it. As you can see, the paint apps are a bit sloppy underneath, but it's really not too bad. And then the other hair piece just sort of clicks in like so. It's a bit fiddly, but once it's in, it looks pretty good. So that's, oh, he's got a bit of a giraffe neck. Just press down, I'll do this off camera. There we go. It's just a little bit tedious trying to get it right. Looking at the hair and the hat, first of all, it's a really nice sculpt. The sculpt on the hat is fantastic. We've got the, the wraparound, which is a separate piece, which does come off, which I'm not gonna do because I don't wanna lose it. But the hair and the hat is actually a really nice sculpt. It looks just like it does in the show. The hair is really well sculpted. It's got a nice wash throughout it. Obviously, it looks a bit strange because this is the one that's designed to have the hat go on top. And it would have been nice had the hat stuck to the head a little bit better. Maybe I'm just doing something wrong. I don't know. But it does look really nice. So that's that out of the way. We'll have a look at the regular hair and head sculpt now. On camera, it doesn't quite do it justice. In person, it's a dead-on likeness for Tom Baker. The paint apps are fantastic, as we've come to expect from Big Chief Studios. The figure looks fantastic. The head sculpt is just fantastic. This hair piece is fantastic as well. It's a very light, or dark brown rather, with a light wash throughout it to really bring out that detailing. And it looks fantastic. Now, I believe that the actual costume itself is the same as the original, down to the materials used and the fabrics and everything like that. I don't have the original to compare, but it does look very similar to me. So starting off, we've got the white shirt underneath, which is nice. We've got the orange cravat, which looks fantastic. We've got the waistcoat, which the printed detailing is fantastic on that. And you can see the popper buttons that are there to keep it closed. You can open it if you want. I'm not going to do that because I know that I'll never get it back together. The jacket is quite a light uh, maroon colour. I think it's a little bit darker in stories like Pyramids of Mars, but nevertheless, it's a really nice bit of tailoring. It doesn't look too big on the figure. I just haven't been able to pose it properly yet. Uh, but yeah, it looks fantastic. And you can see some of the purple lining on the inside as well as the buttons and the lapels and the buttons on the wrists or on the cuffs rather. Looking at the trousers, the trousers have a very nice tweed pattern to them and they look just like the trousers did in the story. They look fantastic. And moving down to the shoes, you can see the really nice brogue detailing on the shoes. You can see the washers to really bring out that worn look in the shoes, and it, they just look fantastic. As you can probably hear, the joints are very stiff. That's because I've only had this figure out of the box for a little bit. So I, a lot of the articulation is still very new. One final thing is looking at the scarf. Now, I believe the scarf on the original figure released a few years back had a wire in it. For whatever reason, that hasn't been translated across to this new figure, so it just sort of flows freely and as such it is quite difficult to get it in a good pose without it looking too big for the figure but if you can pose it right it does look very nice indeed. Taking a look at articulation I'm not going to cover all the articulation because I'd be here forever but there's articulation at the head, the shoulders, I believe there's butterfly joints in the shoulders there's articulation at the biceps, at the elbows, I think. There's ball joints at the wrist. 
I think there's an ab crunch, there's probably a waist swivel, there's articulation at the hips, the thighs, the knees, and there's articulation at the ankles. Now, turning to our accessories, you've already technically seen a few of the accessories being the alternate hatted hair and these hands here, which we have a sort of gripping hand and a palm hand, and these can be used to hold accessories like the sonic screwdriver here. When they said that these figures would be more stripped back compared to the original figures, that was mainly regarding the accessories. The original Big Chief Studios fourth doctor included accessories such as the key to time, the tracer, the hand of Eldrad, the yo-yo. All of that's gone from this new release and the only accessories we have in its place is the sonic screwdriver and the bag of Jelly Babies. Now, I'll start off by taking a look at the Sonic. Unfortunately, this is the wrong Sonic. This is actually the same Sonic screwdriver which was included with the eighth Doctor figure. You can tell by the gold band around the handle bit. Um, it's neither here nor there. It's still a lovely bit of sculpting. It still looks exactly like the original Sonic screwdriver did. It's just a bit of a shame that it's missing that little bit of black paint from the very top and it's got the red on the back of uh, the periscope bit here but still really nice accessory looks really good with the figure and looking at the jelly babies i think we've had this before well obviously we had it in the original fourth doctor figure and i think the same sculpt was used in the eighth doctor figure although i could be mistaken but still the bag looks fantastic there's all sorts of crinkle details it looks fantastic. And then we've got the Jelly Babies on the inside. It just looks great. Looks fantastic. Finally, we have two more hands. Again, another example of how this is a more stripped back version of the original figure, because the original included, I think, six or eight hands. Now we have a combined total of four hands for this figure. Still, it's fine for the accessories that we've got. So whilst we've already got a gripping hand and a flat palm, here we have a sort of pointed hand, which I think would have been used for the yo-yo, but still very, very nice. You can see the detailing of the hands and the paint apps really make it look like a real hand there. And then finally, we have a sort of open palm hand, which I assume you would use for the Jelly Babies. So that's most of the accessories. Obviously, the one accessory left to cover is the display stand. So I'll have to get the figure off the stand so we can take a look at it. Now, this was something that I was quite interested in when these figures were first revealed, because until now, all of the Big Chief Doctor Who stands have been, looked like this. So we've had a sort of plastic blue look with the same hexagonal shape, but then a mirrored top. I'm not tilting it because you'd see my face and it would light up slightly it's so faint you can't even see it on camera but that's been the display stands now however we have these which are the same basic stand but now in silver if you ask me i actually really like the silver stands i m much prefer them to the blue the blue ones have always looked slightly plasticky for my liking these ones look very much like museum exhibits so i really like this we have the same hexagonal look, we have the same cradle with the uh, sort of pincers to hold the figure at the crotch. But then looking at the surface of the hexagon, whereas before we had the mirrored surface, now we have a sort of chalk black surface with the Doctor Who logo in it. And when it's lit up, the Doctor Who logo is illuminated blue. This looks really nice and massive props to Big Chief Studios for including this. They could have just included a blank, you know, black display stand like they did with the Sherlock figures. But I'm really glad to see that they've gone the extra mile and given us a different display stand. Plus, it also differentiates this figure from the original. If I just put the figure back on the stand and just try and pose him in a decent way there we go i'm just going to bring in a previous figure just for a bit of a comparison this is the series 7b 11th doctor and you can see 
just how tall the fourth Doctor is by comparison. Now, I think that is about right compared to what height Tom Baker was in the 1970s. And just to have these two big G figures stood next to each other looks fantastic. The 7B 11th Doctor was actually my first big G figure that I picked up way back in 2014. It was one of the first high-end Doctor Who products I ever owned. And I'm pleased to say that I, with the new fourth Doctor, I now own all of the Big Chief Doctors that have been done. So who knows, I might do a sort of comparing video with all the Doctors because we've now had quite a lot of them. We've had the first Doctor, the third Doctor, the fourth, eighth War, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. So it's only a couple that are still in need of a release. So hopefully we can complete our lineups sooner rather than later. So there we go. There's my look at the brand new Zavi and Big Chief Studios exclusive fourth Doctor one sixth scale action figure. So I'm just trying to reposition all the accessories with the figure. Overall, this I'm really impressed with this figure. It's something that I didn't think I'd ever own. And to be able to actually own this figure now is fantastic. Personally, the lack of accessories and the lack of um, alternate hands and the slight frustrations with the loose hat really don't bother me. The main attraction is the figure itself. And I'm really impressed with it. Am I going to be picking up the upcoming Definitive Series Season 18 Fourth Doctor? I'm not sure. I originally wanted to pick up the Season 18 Fourth Doctor because I'd missed out on this Season 14 Fourth Doctor, or Season 13 Fourth Doctor rather. But now that I've picked this one up, I'm not sure if I'm going to go ahead with the Season 18 figure because this Season 13 look for the Doctor is one of my favourites ever. And to finally have this in one sixth scale glory is fantastic. So if you want this figure or if you missed out on the original fourth Doctor figure or any of the original new series Doctor figures, then head on over to either Zavi or Big Chief Studios now when you can pick them up for $199.99 each. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time for another Doctor Who related video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.